Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 822 of Screw the Commute podcast. We're going to talk about morning routines. And, you know, I've interviewed over 400 guests on this podcast, and almost all of them I ask, hey, uh, how do you start your day? What do you do? You get up early? Do you eat? Do you journal? Do you meditate? What do you do? And almost all of them had a morning routine that worked well for them. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Hope you didn't miss episode 821. That was five emails that made me money, along with an explanation of what I did. It was part of my book, 50 Emails That Made Money, that ebook that I sell. These five will get you started with making more money from your emails. Check out my mentor program at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com and grab a copy of my automation ebook at screwthecommute.com slash automate free. You will thank me because it will save you hundreds of hours into the future fighting with your computer. All right, let's uh, talk about morning routines. Well, I have to, to, to start with one because of my dogs. <laughs> All right, so so my morning routine actually starts with petting my dog, Abby, who sleeps next to me, and she just uh, is a love bug, but she's a protection dog. But, you know, for me, she's, uh, she's real, real docile. So that's how my morning starts. And my morning uh, starts also, depending on how late I stayed up studying the night before, because I got to get the dogs out before they poop and pee all over the house. <laughs> all right, so, so that's mine. And I'm not going to really get into mine much because mine doesn't matter. What matters is that you use these kinds of things to your benefit. And I'm going to give you a lot of you know, just a whole potpourri of things that people do. But you have to experiment and see what works best for you. And then look through the day and the and look back at days and see, well, hey, that that what I did yesterday morning really made me productive yesterday. I should repeat that. So you can work yourself into one if you don't have one that you're kind of stuck in already. All right. So anyway, I pet my dogs. That's the first part. <laughs> now, uh, let's say you have trouble waking up in the morning. Well, a lot of people turn directly to coffee. And I have nothing against coffee. But the problem is, is that there's so many other things that you could do that are probably more healthy for you. You could get up and, and do uh, stretching. You could, uh, there's a lot of uh, research on cold showers and cold water. And you can do a hit routine, like, you know, jumping jacks or something to really, j you know, j jam you into uh, awakeness or awokeness. No, no, I don't want you to be woke at all. <laughs> All right, that doesn't, doesn't fly around here. Okay. Um, and a lot of people say you should wake up with a purpose. And that means you figure it out the night before. A lot of people will the night before make a list of what they want to do the next day. And so they're not just wandering around in a daze in the morning. They got a purpose when they get up. And a lot of people say let email and voicemail go. Concentrate on you. Exercise meditate, read. Now you can read things for your business if you want, or you can read things for your hobbies. You can watch videos for your hobbies. You can do something like that, but limit the amount of time because I know I can get sucked into TikTok and, and YouTube shorts for hours. You know, so, so limit yourself to the amount of time you take. Keep in mind, other people's issues can wait. You have to take care of yourself first before you can do a good job taking care of the day or whoever else you have to take care of. So make sure you get yourself taken care of. You can drink water, you know, stay hydrated. That's a good thing overall, but start out with water during the day. You can journal. A lot of people say avoid your phone because you're going to get sucked into emails and voicemails and stuff that you may don't want to deal with right then when you're supposed to be taking care of you. What are you going to eat? Are you going to eat something healthy or are you going to eat something that's going to make you crash about 10 or 11 a.m.? You know, so... Uh, Pay attention to that. A lot of people say tackle the toughest stuff first that you have to do during the day while you're fresh, and then the rest of the day will be a breeze. A lot of people do affirmations. 
you know, I'm going to be great today. I'm going to do a great job with my customers. I'm going to write a new book today, you know, stuff like that. A lot of people say, get up earlier so that you're not rushed. I mean, if you're the type of person that likes to rush around or really get into it, well, that's different. But if you're like the person that that bothers you, force yourself to get up a little bit earlier. Now, the time I get up uh, is usually affected because I'm kind of a night owl with studying. I always study every, you know, I'm a real continuous learner, which I know many of you are. So, so study, but I can get into midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning if I really, you know, let it rip. So that depends on how late I'll get up because I want to make sure I get all my sleep in, which is funny because I used to say sleep was overrated, but I kind of changed my mind on it. <laughs> you can do deep breathing. That's a great way to start today. You can just sit down and prioritize what you're going to do for the day if you didn't do it the night before. A lot of people listen to music. Hey, you could listen to a podcast. I wonder which one. <laughs> I got a good idea for you on that one. Uh, there's a, some other things you could do. Show gratitude. Think about all the things you're, you, you know, you appreciate in your life. Call somebody. Not too early, right? But maybe call somebody you haven't called for a while and, and say, hey, just want to say hello to you, get the day started right and see how you're doing. Those kinds of things. You want to work your mind? Crossword puzzles. Do a crossword puzzle. I love crossword puzzles. Stretching is good. I'm going to be doing a lot more of that since I've been having a little back trouble. You know, there's a thousand other things you could do. But I just want to get you into thinking about how your morning routine makes you productive during the rest of that day or week or month or whatever. Because if you start the day off bad, you can blow days at a time and not accomplish anything, which I know most of you that are on a show, listen to a show like this, want to accomplish things, especially in business. So get a, a morning routine. And let's say, you know, let's look at the one you have first. So you have a morning routine, whether you like it or not, you do certain things every morning. As soon as I get up after petting the dog, go in, take a shower, you know, do my teeth, you know, the whole bit, get ready to go. And then I rush outside with the dog so they can go potty. See, so that's my, that's definitely a routine for me. Now, if, it, if I get up super early, yeah, maybe I'll throw in some studying and uh, watching uh, videos on ham radio or, you know, tennis or the things that I, I do on the side. Uh, but you need to evaluate what it is now and then see what you could do and try some things to see, oh, that was great or uh, I didn't really like that hit routine in the morning. I wasn't up for that. Hit is that high intensity interval training. So, so evaluate what you got, see what you could add or subtract, and then look at the results. And over a couple of weeks, you do this, man, you could uh, really double or triple your productivity by getting a better morning routine. All right, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'll catch you all in the next episode. See you later.